this is going to be interesting. Uh, bear with me on this maybe horrible video. Thursday night, finalizing everything. Just wanted to run through the kit. Uh, drop bags, kind of what I'm planning on with you, because I don't know, I've never made a video before. I literally just bought this GoPro. I ran Cocodona last spring. Didn't have any fun. So we're going to make it fun. With a donut outfit. Chicken leg shorts. Some random shirt I found on Amazon that hopefully doesn't give me too much rash because I ran with it. Balaga socks. Bandana, just, I don't know, cuz. Sun hat for the blast zone. I got Dirty Girl Gators here. Exoskin underwear, because they're nice. Lakey poles. Selfie stick. My vests all packed up besides snacks. Drop bags. And it's kind of my crew stuff in here. Extra batteries and calories and wet wipes and shirts and electrolytes and yada yada. All right, pack. I got my Advanced Skin 12. Got two 600 mil flasks. I'm gonna be carrying a third that has a water filter on it. We got two liters of water in the bladder. Probably won't use it most of the time. Got uh, just kind of toiletries, sunscreen and chapstick for the sun exposure. Toilet paper with an extra bag to carry the dirty toilet paper out. I got a little blister kit and first aid kit just because, I don't know, I always carry those around for no reason. It's not like I'm going to bandage up my knee. Some snacks. First bit in the back here, I have a nice super light dry bag to keep all my emergency gear. Um, all my batteries and headlamps and that sort of stuff. The emergency kit is a spare headlamp with full battery, nice dry buff, some glove liners, leggings, because pants are required, a little baseball hat, uh, emergency bivy, and rain jacket, ultimate direction rain jacket. It's supposed to be nice and dry on the race, so really banking on that. Weather is looking absolutely amazing. Thank God, because I run in the rain enough here in the Pacific Northwest. It's a lot better when you're not running in the rain. So let's just go through a drop bag with you real quick. I tend to every 45 to 60-ish miles put one of these together. So I have four of this ones. Look, Coldwater Lake, 46.5. Lewis River, 110. Klickitat, 160. And Owens Creek. So yeah drop bag just kind of consists of extra calories this one has a lot of tailwind and light stuff in it I generally eat most of my food at aid stations I'm lucky I have a fairly I have an iron stomach uh, LMNT salt these guys are great love them been using those for like six months now and they're absolutely great and the dry buff baby wipes in every dry bag along with an extra pair of socks and extra squirrel's nut butter to keep those feet nice and lubed up and feeling good along with extra batteries. Yeah, that's kind of the scoop, just like calories, sock and foot change. Don't always do it, but you know, it's good to have that every 40, 50 miles, 60 if it, you need to. Uh, and that's kind of the same with all these, just same calories, batteries, uh, actually in Lewis River and so further down, after 100 miles, I have some extra shirts and uh, replacement underwear in there as well, in case I'm starting to get dirty and itchy. That's kind of my gear in a nutshell. Might do this again tomorrow. This is my fourth 200. Did Tahoe in 2019, Moab 2020. 21, I just ran a 100 miler. And this year I did Cocodone in the spring. Now Bigfoot, so it'll be the last of my list that I set as a goal, I guess, is in, what, 2018 when I found out about ultra running. Went straight to 200 milers. What a fucking idiot. They're fun. I just like to tromp around in the woods and have a good time, get all dirty and stinky and tell jokes to aid station volunteers.
goal this race is last one for a little while. Next summer I'm taking off. Feeling a little burnt out, so go uh go travel or do something else next year besides suffer in the woods for a week. Here we go. Bigfoot two hundred, baby. Friday morning, packing up the van, getting ready to go, hit the road. We're up in Bellingham, Washington. Got a few hour drive down to Randall to check in this morning. My girlfriend's gonna be driving me around in my van here. Hopefully just minimize time at aid stations. Jenna's gonna be crewing me mostly the whole way. My parents are gonna stop by Windy Ridge and give me a hug. Oh, I got another friend, Tully, and his mother are going to swing by Lewis River, Chain of Lakes, Click Attack. Give Jenna a break so she can sleep. Home turf, know what to expect in these woods weather-wise and everything, so I'm really hoping this goes well. Yeah, well, let's, uh, let's drive down to Randall. Have a conversation with Todd there, buddy. Have fun. Sweet. Sounds good. Thank you. Have a conversation with Todd. Conversation with Todd. How are you? What's your name? Jake. Jake, I'm Todd. Nice to meet you. Hey, where are you from, Jake? I'm from Bellingham. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah. you're right around the corner. Yeah. You must know Candace. Oh, uh, yeah. We used to live there. I've, yeah, I've been volunteering down here for like oh, sweet. five years. Well, then you and I have must have met. Yeah, you actually take my feet from when I said Tahoe. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Save that. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm Todd. Nice to meet you. You're going to be on the road? Yeah. You're facing him. True. You know, they work harder than you work. Yeah. Yes, no, especially this one. I tried right? to talk her out of it's it. It's a lot of driving. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's okay. Good. Uh, no allergies to food or medicine? Nope. And you take any medications for anything? Nope. No diabetes, high blood pressure, bad heart, bad lungs, nope. anything like that? Good. Um, I'm sure you've heard my spiel. Neck up. Ankles yep. down, bro. Yep. Got to take care of those. Yep. If you don't, there's going to be problems. Yep. And you take care of it when you get it. Not yeah. like, not oh, I'll wait till the aid station. Totally. And, then it'll be good. Yep. and then nutrition. If you're hungry, eat. Yep. If you're not hungry, eat. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, drink plenty of fluids and, and electrolytes. Yep. And then uh, sleep. Yeah. You got to get rest. Sleeping is healing. Rest is healing. Yep. Um, just a little bit of sleep goes a long way and it'll benefit you down the road. So. Apparently Anything I can do along the way to get you aid station, aid station. That's what we're here for. We're yeah. here to get you to the finish. But yeah. Just that 20 just miles, that 18 miles, yeah. and then we can put you back together and kick your ass and get you back out there. So That's the you're plan. all set, yeah. man. Awesome. I think it's going to be a good time. This yeah, is a me too. Area. Yeah, we got. I think this out is with weather this year too. Yes, it's forecasted. Yeah. Anyway. I know. <laughs> and, you know, if you roll into Tuesday, it's going to get pretty warm. Yeah. Um, so that's something to think about because your hydration's probably already going to be screwed up yep. come Monday and Tuesday. So something to think about about uh, taking more water than you probably need. Yeah. Yep. 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 So, good. Cool. It's good to see you. I'll see you out there on the road. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Good. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Sometimes people get really lying.
Jugs and jugs and jugs. You got Owen's Creek? I have Owen's Creek. You know that water, huh? Yeah. Owen's Creek. Look at that. Checked in at White Pass, and now we're letting the dogs play. to the start. Hang out with the dogs at camp. Ferocious. Wait, Marty. Wait. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Jordan. Hi. Procrastination at its finest. <laughs> Making the map for my crew. Marty, what do you think? Six forty this morning. Uh, all of the other races are already going, so it's kind of stressful seeing everybody out there ready. And I still have like two hours and ten minutes. Now it's just the angst. Can't wait to get on the trail. It's the worst part. Hurry up and wait. Chipotle for breakfast. The toes fresh. Freshly painted this morning. Fresh toes. So you a sick shirt. Donut. My favorite. Chicken leg. You missed a button. It's for ventilation. Walk in to check in. Uh, beautiful, cool morning. Lots of clouds, overcast. It's going to be a good day to run. I'd ask if you put sunscreen on, but I know you didn't. It's cloudy. Have you seen how tan I am? I got it for a while. Bigfoot runners! Alright, so we're getting really Oh, I remember her too. So take a look at your shoulder, make sure you got a spot tracker, and if you do not, go on over there right now. Got it. I got a few of them. Can you see by the dawn? What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air. Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the Starting Bigfoot.
are starting this okay. thing. Getting uh yeah. getting going. Nice shuffle walk. In the conga line. Yeah, this is uh, my last one. Have fun, right? Just getting it done. Yeah. Getting, the... getting up towards Helens now. Rocky technical. It's cloudy, so can't see Helens yet this morning. Just about half hour into this thing. A little over two miles. Starting off slow. There's Helen's back there, you just can't see her. Sun head on. Beautiful day. Hello. Thanks. Thanks. People are liking the outfit too. Kind of hanging with these guys. We're on loot for a little bit, but now we're dropping down back in the woods get to Blue Lake Aid Station, the first one. <clears throat> 100 minutes, about seven miles, so should be there, you know, within an hour. miles in cruising in some beautiful woods keeping the smile on two hours so so far I'm on schedule to go the outfit in action donut shorts I'm very quickly becoming donut so that works out I think that's my nickname at work too <laughs> Green home turf. The air is wet. Everything is good. So far, you'll be hearing me later when I'm bitching about everything. Coming into the Blue, Blue, Blue Lake Aid Station. Fifty-eight. Quarter of a 
I'll do tailwind in both of these guys. All right, yeah, I got it for you. You want to taste test it a little All right. bit? And then I'll have to take my yeah, cast off, and I'm going to load that guy up with some water. All right. So let me fill that up for you. Do you need water in there? Yeah, water would be we'll grab a here. superb. So that's good. Thank you. Do you guys have sandwiches? Yes. Yes. Peanut butter and jelly, turkey wrap. Turkey wrap. Can I get two turkey wraps, please? Hmm. Left uh, Blue Lake. My buddy Brandon caught up with him, or he caught up with me, whatever you want to say. Uh, yeah, feeling good. Right on schedule, two and a half hours, so. Time to uh, survive the heat, I guess. It's cool in here, oh look, a mountain. Hey mountain. 16-ish miles in here. Uh, been in the forest mostly, a couple water crossings. Kept her feet dry out of Blue Lake Aid Station. But we're about to cross the river. Maybe get our feet wet. And uh, then we're gonna be out in the exposed heat for the rest of the day. So we're gonna turn the thermometer up here for a while. Feeling good. Walking the ups. It's been a good amount of cruiser downhill so far that I've been enjoying. Yeah, just having a good old time out here in Bigfoot country. Must be the one at a time yep. spot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> My timing was different. Good job. Thanks. Check it out, there's Spirit Lake, Cold Water Lake. I'll be over there tonight and all those hills. But still out here, I think we're on like the official Lewitt, so we're just cruising around. It's pretty nice weather today. It's been breezy until like just this moment early. We're in the heart of the blast zone right here. Barren. Rocks and sand. So, Mount St. Helens behind me. Here's the trail where I'm going. That's the oasis down there. There is Mount Adams. And you can see behind the lake over there, Mount Rainier. First time. On the trail, the course, you can see all of them. 
Let's go down to the oasis here. Clean water. Ah. Uh. Probably can't see, but there's a bunch of mountain goats on this hillside up here. Pretty cool. Probably like 20 of them. Getting close to Windy Ridge on the other side of that little mountain. Another like five and a half, six miles maybe. Oh, hey there. <laughs> so I got a little story to tell you. <coughs> In 2017, I heard about ultra running. I heard about people running 200 miles. I was really intrigued. Like, what the hell? How do these people do this? Found out one of these 200 miles are in Washington State, the Bigfoot 200, which I'm at right now. I emailed the volunteer coordinator. I was like, I want to help. I need to see this firsthand, how the hell this happens. And I did. I took a week off work, drove down here to the race, and I volunteered at two places. The first one, Windy Ridge. First aid station I ever crewed at, worked at volunteered and I had a blast that year there was like extreme heat so much carnage on the section I just did the blast zone going from what Blue Lake aid station to Windy Ridge and I loved it and then that night there was an epic thunderstorm um so yeah that's kind of where I fell in love with trail and ultra running this is the race that I've uh, been building up to do with all the other ones. I just figured that I run here in the Washington woods a lot, so just take advantage of going to Tahoe and Moab for this guy. But yeah, we're coming up on Windy Ridge. Once Ready for some food. Course, all downhill today. Yeah, thanks man. Yep. Uh, so yeah, I've been going back to Windy Ridge every year volunteering. I've also been at Twin Sisters and Click Attack later on, so I'm really excited to see the course that I've been hearing about so much. We're cruising. Coming up on Windy Ridge, baby. Just hitting the six hour mark right now, so I'm right on, if not a little ahead of schedule, honestly. <laughs> I don't know a place I'm in. There's no internet. Not like that. But yeah, we're cruising, check it out. There's Mount Adams too. Just gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, 58. Jacob, oh, man. man, what is that? Tyler, up, I was bro? wondering if I was gonna Yo, see you. Man. I'm so Dude. glad somebody's holding down the fort. Good to see you, man. Good to see oh, you. Nice oh. work. Sorry. Yeah, it's yeah, all so good. How many 200 runners? Are uh, you're the you know? you're the fourth or fifth. Oh fuck. What's your number? I mean, it's going way too fast. So one, two, three. You're the fifth. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, cool. We're not blowing up yet. Hi. Tower. Yeah. So glad you're here. Yeah. Good to see you. <laughs> that. Thank you. Uh, cool. I think I'm just gonna be quick here. Cool. Yeah. I don't need a whole lot. Leaving Windy Ridge now. Six hours, 23 minutes. That was very pleasant. My heart is full. I really didn't eat much. Banana, some snacks. Got some things to go, but. I was like six going to that aid station, so I'm pretty scared. I'm moving too fast again, but you know, just gotta walk for a while. Don't be in a rush. Here we are. 
On the 200 course, we've left the 40 milers and the 20 milers, moving towards like Spirit Lake and uh, Johnson Bridge Overlook. Cruiser downhill. Good views and a breeze. A little bit of a headwind, but I'll take it. The breeze is amazing. I'm gonna listen to your sign, I can't trust a fart. <laughs> Just left uh, Johnson Ridge, great crew. I'm number five, I guess. Whoops, but feeling pretty good. Wow. So we like came over there and down, boop, 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 around that thing to Windy Ridge, back up to this, and now we're going down and down that way. But my goodness, what are, these are some views, sure beats Cocodona, holy hell. More views, <clears throat> headed down, down, down to the cold water lake aid station. See, I run, I don't just walk. That's probably why I'm in fifth right now. Ha, 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 ha. Fifty-eight. One of my six. How's it going? Thanks for being here. <laughs> Better than anticipated. Oh, uh, I have a drop bag. Are they numbers? Uh, Fifty-eight. It's a zip right there. I think that little Ziploc bag with orange or with yellow tape on it. Oh, how's it going? Thank you so much. Uh, in a second, I'll need my bladder filled. Okay. And a few other things, but... Yeah. How are you feeling? Just, uh, good. Yeah? For my pace, great. Right on. Right on. <laughs> Operate the valve for me. Eighteen miles in the next one, or something like that. Eighteen point seven. And like five thousand feet of climbing. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. Change of socks. Some foot maintenance. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Food these guys got. Got a real menu. All the goods. Just left Blue Lake. It was there for I don't know. My watch is on right now, it's charging, so it's there for a little bit. Hit some mashed potatoes, Just drank a bunch of apple juice. Check out this view. On my first real climb of this trip in the forest. It's approaching on nighttime. We'll get out of the trees eventually and this should be a nice starry night. Pretty stoked on that. Last of the light for the day. Sitting all 11 and a half hours. So I'm at the 50 mark. Under 12 hours, stoked. I doubt you can really see that, but that was the moon rising behind Mount Adams. It's really cool. This trail, this is what it looks like at night. Trail running. Oh, got the wash out there. <laughs> Now Margaret out and back. This is supposed to be the prettiest view on the course. It's uh, I don't know what time it is. 10 something, 10.30, 10.40, 10.40. And I have made it to the Mount Margaret turnaround. I'm gonna take a little sit. There might be salsa or some beer. Well, that's fun. I think I got that <laughs> wipe out on camera. After I left Mount Margaret, I had my headlamp too dim so other runners couldn't see me as easily. And I kicked the log and just fucking ate it. Scraped up my knee a little bit, but not bad. <laughs> Norway Pass. Uh, 58. 58? Yeah, what's your uh, Do you have cup of noodles? Come on in. Come on in. Yes, we do. Uh, is there a chair or something? Yeah. I did. We just did. Is your knee okay? Do you need medical to wipe it off? Yeah, it's fine. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to be all stealthy and turn my headlamp on low. And yeah. <laughs> Kicked the stump and face planted. There we go. Back in the forest. Left Norway Pass and we're just cruising. Everything is a little less steep than I'm used to training on. Elk Pass Aid Station. It is like 3 in the morning, 2.54. Honk to let us know you're coming. Howdy. Who that? What's that? Wow. Yeah. Oh, you kind of came all way. I'm running. That's good though. Yeah. I'm excited to be here. Ooh, look at this. Fires. 58. 
Oh. Will you grab the tote thing? Hi, Bruno. What's the tote thing? The tote. Oh, it should be on the floor stuff? with yeah. all my running stuff yeah. in it. I'll go get it. I'm gonna keep going. I'm not gonna sleep. Feeling good. Oh. How are you doing? Amazing somehow. Good. That's awesome. I just got new batteries. Nice. Yeah, kind of this white spot. Yeah. They actually took me, what, three hours to get here? Three Yeah, I'm trying it out. Man, too bad that section was in the dark. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like you're just kind of on ridges going in between cool steep mountains and then you can see just like you can Adams see Rainier and Adams and Hood and yep. St. Helens. <coughs> How far ahead are one and two? Um, like an hour? One over an hour. Yeah. One came in two well, hours ago. Yeah. Yeah. Two came in. <laughs> Crazy. <Yeah. laughs> oh, nice. Do you want any more of these? Yeah, I'll take a couple more of those. Okay. Alright. Oh. You sure? You ready? This will ever be. Alright. I'm gonna go check out the snack bar one more time though. Yeah. All right. Hey. 58 is leaving. All right. Good job. Bye. Okay. See ya. Love you. Love you. Thank Bye. you everybody for being here. I appreciate you. <coughs> Time to get out of here. I was there for way too long, like 45 minutes, but brushing my teeth, new headlamp batteries. Got like three more hours till sunrise, so probably get to the next aid station for breakfast, which is great. 15 miles, sun will be up. See if I take a cat nap on this section. Time to go. <clears throat> so I'm not sure I know exactly how to say this, but Going out of uh, Elk Pass Aid Station a couple miles. Caught up to third place runner. And I passed them. So I'm sitting at mile 80 in like third place, which is really scary. It's good that I just said that out loud because mile 80 is so early. I just gotta keep doing what I'm doing. Third place, baby. Wow. Never thought I'd be here this deep into this thing. Cool. All right, that's all. Just needed to give everybody an update. Good morning. It's 5.15. No naps today. Look at that. I can't even tell. That must be Adams. More sunrise. Not right near. Also, I think I just saw second place. A couple hundred yards ahead of me. Let's see if I can sneak up on him. So I don't know how this happened. But I just jumped into second place. Like five miles out from road. 9027 9327 or whatever. Yeah, I just passed second place runner. So I made a really good time on that section apparently. And it's mostly downhill of the aid station, which honestly I've just been crushing. <coughs> wow. I gotta figure out when I'm gonna take my nap though, because I haven't slept. It's been like 20. 21 hours almost, I think. Probably like six, so yeah. 21 hours and 
almost 90 miles, 85. Ah, uh, 58. What do you want, man? Uh, can I get some eggs, bacon, and hash browns? Yeah, do you want any burrito or just by itself? I'll do a burrito. All right. I love burritos. I left road, whatever that is, finally. Crazy, you like get up away from the fire at the aid station in the morning and you're just like shivering uncontrollably. <sighs> but then you start walking and everything kind of comes back together. I left in third. We'll see if it keeps up. Look, some nice warm sun is ahead of me. I uh, taped up my feet real good. That aid station, I kind of needed to do that. They were getting all raw. Fortunately, I didn't have any clean socks, but I got like 20 more miles to clean socks. So, yeah. All right, I gotta put my battery away so I can keep running. Almost mile 100 and I am crashing. Might be about time for a dirt nap. Still got some more climbing to do. It's only like three miles though, I think. Pretty steep descent to the aid station, so yeah. I might uh, take a nap. Keep you posted. Yeah, I'm gonna take a dirt nap, so I'll show you how that works. Oh. 10 minutes. <coughs> All right, it wasn't that long, but it was something. Oh. This hurts. Hey, I'm going so slow. I'm starting to think things, black blobs or people in trees or people and animals. So that's fun. I'm like, oh, there's somebody. Nope, it's a tree. Oh, there's a bit. Nope, that's a stump. How much is the next one? Like 7.6 miles. 7.6, mostly downhill? I think. Um, I think it's mostly down. Oh, oh I'm pretty tough. Okay, then I will do it. <laughs> you didn't get here by, by whining, huh? Oh, I've been whining. <laughs> Whinging? Actually, not that much, to be honest. Let's see, that's just That's just dirt. Okay. There's lots of dirt on me. Let's see, you have some rocks embedded in here. Little pebbles. That's okay. So, they make good tattoos. 
So I could uh, gently pick them out with a scalpel, or you can keep them there as a badge of honor. And I can smear needle oh, spray on them. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's not like you need stitches or anything. It just road rash. Yeah. Trail rash. Yeah, you should have seen. I kicked the root and I just. <laughs> Drops 3,000 feet in like three yeah. miles. Like oh, that, that's the road, and then that's yeah. when you get back on the trail. Yeah, and then you go on the road again for her hair to. Oh my god, this is gonna be brutal. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Out of. Spencer Butte Haid Station. We got three miles of pavement. Uh, uh, they gave me a dank grilled cheese with turkey and oh god, I want it. So good. And a bunch of coke. It's uh like seven and a half miles to the next aid station. It's like three miles of barely downhill road, and then like three miles down with like 3,000 feet of elevation, so that's gonna be a steep bitch. Then we'll be at Lewis River, and I'm gonna take a solid rest, I think. Air out my feet, get ready for that 7,000 foot climb out of there, reset, take my rest, and hopefully get up to Quartz Ridge around dark, and Tully will join me. Look, I made it off that dumb road. Getting tired, I'm uh, closing my eyes and walking every once in a while. Oh, by the way, we're at like the halfway point. Cause it's like 100 and, or 208. And that last aid station was like 102 or 103, so. We're basically halfway there. 27 hours in. And this is basically a game trail. Uh-oh. Where's that flag? Where did it go? Shit. That's why you carry the map. Just go over that log, I guess. Turn to the GPX. Ow! Aha, uh -huh. there's a trail. <clears throat> oh, log jumping. No! Oh. oh, can't wait to sit on the couch. I can't wait to go jump in a river and just chill. I'm gonna just hang out in the river for like three days after this fucking thing. I'm gonna do nothing but lay down. Ow! little over a mile from Lewis River Aid Station and I just can't run. I'm being a baby and I'm at like fifth or sixth place now. Cause I'm starting to slow down. It was a fun hundred miles though. Being in third, even second for a couple minutes. Try and hold this together and stay top 10. We'll see. But God, I am being a baby. A big, fat baby. Look, it's even downhill a little bit and I'm walking. It's pretty flat. And I'm fucking walking. Okay, I'm shuffling. I'm shuffling. Hardly. It's not even worth the extra effort. Ugh, I'm hungry. I want to put clean clothes on. So finally got to 
Lewis River Aid in a pretty bad mood, but I caught up to a lot of people that passed me. They were all hanging out there too, looking pretty rugged. And it being like really hot, I just decided to hang out there for a bit. I cleaned my feet up real nice. Changed my socks, my underwear, my shirt. Uh, ate some a good amount of food. <sighs> Laid down for like 20 minutes. I might have fell asleep for like five, but it was just good to lay down, air up my feet, and just take a break for a minute. At this point, I'm feeling pretty good. It is like three, I believe. Let's see, I can't do math well. Yeah, just set for three. And there's a breeze right this second, which is amazing. But uh, yeah, hopefully things will cool down now a little bit as i start this big climb this next section up to quartz ridge is like 16 miles 17 miles i think and there's like 7,000 feet of vert so definitely a big long push i'm expecting it to take like seven or eight hours they had actually wi-fi some of the ham radio people had wi-fi there and so I got to see where I'm sitting, and there's one guy kind of creeping up on me, but besides that, everybody's still pretty far behind me. So that makes me feel really good about holding top 10. This next aid station at Quartz Ridge, I will be meeting Tully and Jenna and Tully's mom. They'll be there with the van. We'll see, maybe I'll actually try and catch some real Z's. We're on the uh, Quartz Creek Trail. And it's really cool because there's a lot of big old growths. I just kind of went through a bunch. This is a bit smaller, but big dug firs and cedars. Pretty sweet Quartz Creek down there. Nice yeah, steep down. Hurting my knees and quads. And some steep ups. I'm gonna walk super well right now. Back to walking, I guess. Hopefully I'll fall in. Flag. Those are the ribbons I follow for 200 miles. Into the forest. I'm trying to stay alive out here on my way up to Quartz Ridge. Ooh, 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 staying alive. 
staying alive. We got maybe a little over halfway. The trail just goes like up, 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 and then it dips down a fuck ton. And then it goes up, 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 and then it dips down. Wait another hour or two till dusk. Cool. I guess I'll start walking again. If I can get up. Ugh. Ugh. Cool. Another water break. So I'm gonna make some tailwind. No matter how well I'm doing compared to everybody else on this section. It doesn't really matter, but you always gotta think about something, you know? Tailwind, not cocaine. Dump it in the bottle. Add some water. Lid. Shake. Isn't that fun? It's like arts and crafts on the trail. So I made it almost to the top of uh, whatever the fuck trail that was. Coming up to Crystal Camp, uh, Quartz Ridge, Quartz Ridge. Um, there's still a little more climbing to go, but I think this super gnarly, gnarly steep stuff's over. And somehow I'm up here in six hours. I thought for sure I was gonna take eight. And some more rutted dirt bike trail getting dark, sun's down, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be really needy, but I gotta get the wheels back on this machine. Yeah, let's do it. Here's the crew. <laughs> Sleeping beauties over there. I'm gonna go to the van. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping you guys would start making fun of me. <laughs> we'll take you to the van. Where are we? What aid station? I want to say cold water, but that was the first. <laughs> oh no! Where do you think we are? Quartz. Quartz. You ridge. got it. What's today? We're putting the wheels back on the bus. Yeah. What's today? This is it Monday yet? Yeah. No, it's still. No, but kind of close. I mean, like two. It's only like ten, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, let's get you to the band. <laughs> yeah, rock band. <laughs> Still pretty good. Time to leave those bitches in the dust. <laughs> yeah! That's the kind of spirit. You got a nice moth on your shot. More like, get this over with so I can stop doing it. <laughs> I don't know. Jake's shorts came, seem to get shorter and shorter at each aid station. <laughs> hey, at least I'm wearing panties. <laughs> true. Do you want to show why they're so short? What's going on up there? I'm chafing on my vest and this is protecting the chafage from rubbing on my vest. This is really light. What am I missing? Totally how, many, how long you think? Four and a half hours. Go roll it. Um, you want that in some? Can I get a bag? Yeah. Why don't you do foil? Your toothbrush? What in the heck? How about a big gallon bag? I don't care. This is your mess to use. Pull that out. Look it. Right there you go. That. Ultra owners care. That's his, yeah. It is okay. <laughs> That's his, not mine. I'm like, wow. No, yeah, they're gross. Thank <laughs> you. Yep, you ready to turn it on, dude? Mm -hmm. Jake sure is. Let's eat it. I feel like a million bucks. 
Do you want to brush your teeth with the avocado fork? Or knife? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, handing it off to you. All right, have snacks, snacks, drinks. 16 miles, huh? Yep, here you go. Be a bit. Like an hour and a half. Nope. A mile and a half to the next aid station. And my feet hurt a lot. And I'm basically closing my eyes while I'm walking. Tully's pacing me. He dragged me up some hills in the last section. Yeah, that's, that's about all the thoughts I can put together. We're on a road right now and I can't run on it because I'm a little bitch. But we're, we're getting there. Right, Tully? We're getting there. And yeah, I'm really tired. Nope, it's five o'clock in the morning. Sweet monsters. They're getting me. Uh, 58. 58. 58. Very good. He is my pacer. We got anything you want. Burger? Burger, please. Burger? Bacon. Just mustard. Oh, yeah. Bacon, bacon and mustard. Cheese. Mustard ketchup? Just mustard. Just mustard. Uh, mustard and bacon. Lettuce, tomato? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Simple. Oh. Good job, man. You too. Oh. How long did that take you? I don't know. Elevation profile on the next section? I am not sure, but I will go find out. I know I gotta go up Elk Peak, and it's gonna suck. It's pretty easy. It's, about, it's nice and easy yeah. until then. In about mile 16, 17. That's yeah. the hill. Okay, so it's pretty cruiser until Elk. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Yep. I hope it's not the motorcycle trails. Oh my god. It is a bit on the way out, at least, I know. Left. Channel Lakes at, I don't know, 47 hour mark. What is it, like 7, 8? Oh, nope, it's 6.20. Took a nap and I got some food in me because I forgot to eat <laughs> from, <laughs> from wherever that last aid station was. Quartz Ridge, just a chain of lakes. I had like a bite of a tortilla and some tailwind. I got really grumpy and sleepy at the end. I think I took a video, but yeah. And hopefully it sounds like we're almost done with this motorcycle track stuff. Got a little bit, but yeah, Tully's dragging me. It's click a tat now. Uh, oh God, I just drank a lot of Coca-Cola. And uh, yeah. I can't believe I'm still holding on to this lead right here. Not really a lead, I'm not winning, but I'm winning. My time is superbly faster than I could have imagined. All right, once again, I have to put my GoPro away so I can use both my hands to walk. <laughs> Look, the sun's coming out. Tully's looking away, around, looking for a way around. But just gotta send. Oh. It's cold. I didn't find anything. Yeah, action shot. <laughs> Real hikers walk through puddles. <laughs> Woo! That's squishy feet. Squishy feet. 
Oh. Oh, <laughs> I was just muck. Ugh. peak to the quick attack aid station and I got a burger. Oh you probably <laughs> forgot about that. Check this shit out. That is better than McDonald's. They even put mustard on it. Not enough, but it is. Oh, oh. I'm definitely gonna make it now. Want some? No, it's good. Okay. It's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the elite, elite, they don't take these sip breaks. That's how I got so fucking far up there in the beginning. I didn't take a fucking sip break until 90 almost. Besides aid stations, obviously. Right. Well then. Hey Tully, where are we? God, we can turn around here and not walk off this cliff. Got Rainier. Wow, little Tahoma looks so small. Proof. I climbed this bitch of a mountain. I bet you can see the aid stations like just down there. Oh yeah. So click a tat, you're basically going up and down. This ridge is the next section. One step closer. One step closer. Uh, it's sort of like the that's nice because I'm like going up the hill. Uh, yeah, what do you want, buddy? Like fruits, bananas. So his tracker hasn't been moved. fruit. I'll Could leave a banana right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, salty watermelon. Yeah. I'm just gonna every time I go right up your alley. Do you want me to get you a plate of watermelon? Uh, no, no. no, that was a pretty. I'll eat it. I'll, I'll eat it. Okay. 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 No. no. Pickles. Oh, like, yeah, pickles would be good too. Maybe some pickle juice. Well, I want to go. This is so people. You guys have burgers. Um, four thousand yeah. up, four thousand down. Five thousand. Does that sound right? About five thousand up. Five thousand up. Five thousand up. All right, this should be a long one. Burger wasn't that bad. The burger was a pretty solid later food. Yeah, I was just like <laughs> put two burgers in a bag and just smash them together <laughs> or foil or something. Oh. Yeah, so that was his, so this guy over this here. This guy, did you want something to drink besides pickle juice? Can you put coke in there? Yeah. Fill that thing up. 
Your blood's pumping it out. Is that diet? No, I did it. I got shot. I don't know. I was like a couple years ago. Man. His mouth pit feels weird. You just ate pickles too. Maybe I'm losing my taste or something. You, you caught COVID out there? Jesus, what were you doing? Yeah, maybe the pickle combo. What's I'll it? take a test at the finish line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sleepy. I slept on the road with Jake, so. Oh, nice. Yeah, and the, it was like kind of cold in the morning. We got to the yeah. gravel road and it was like hot in the sun, and we were like, oh. And we were both kind of sleepy. I'm like, I'm taking a nap, a five minute nap. I and he's like, too. I think I will too. And we laid down and <laughs> it did the trick. <laughs> yeah, we felt good. I think that's Tully's first five minute nap. But yeah. I went out. I thought the sleepies away. <laughs> Ride is getting close to the end. In the click attack section, soaking in the views. It's hot and I kind of booked maybe like four or five miles in the click attack. That one lake was like a swamp. I was gonna get water from it and I was like, yeah. There's too many bugs here. This is oh, not yeah. worth my time. Yeah, the second like we, we skipped it. <laughs> 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 like, am, I, am I exaggerating? What? The mosquitoes were like a biblical plague. <gasps> yeah, they're pretty bad. <laughs> that means they were terrible. Oh, shakes up like that. Oh, gosh. Give me four days of rocking. Go drink some caffeine. Caffeine, get up. And I was like, no. I threw it out. Go. Yeah, we go. Go, I haven't done that this whole, whole race. <laughs> you told me you could go to the aid station quick. Like, I, I, I haven't been able to. There's been too many people. That's true, I know. So now I'm telling you that last one, I was like, oh, Where's Jenna? Jenna was like, <laughs> <coughs> Oh, I've decided, I've discovered I know what stinks so bad. Tomorrow, you. That hat. Oh, yeah. That hat terrible. is like, I'm cold. Oh, it is on. <laughs> He's cold. <laughs> Get out of here. It's been a while. Been kind of really focused <laughs> to record. Like after click a tat. And that whole section, I fucking crushed it. I don't know if it was five, like five and a half or six hours. But like the first half was kind of brutal, slow going. The second half was cush. They had cleared out so many down logs that made it so much better and faster. I can't imagine what it used to be like because there's a lot of freshly cut logs. I am currently sitting in fourth place with about 16, 29 miles left. If I have my way, I would love to finish at six o'clock in the morning. It's night three, so who knows what the sleepy monsters will do to me in the next couple hours. I have about an hour of sleep. I laid down for 40 minutes at Quartz Creek after that big brutal climb. And then I took like a 15 minute nap at the next aid station where I forgot to eat food. Uh, chain of lakes or yeah, so I laid down like in the, in like the firing area with my feet up on a chair and zonked out for like 15 minutes, so probably like 55 minutes of sleep so far. Well, I did it. Oh shit. I got lost. I got a boo-boo. Look. You got boo boo. I uh, lost the trail on the ridge with a bunch of blown down trees. Great view out here in the middle of the night. It's fucking 11 30. That is what I'm looking for. My toes are swollen. Yeah, they start to look <laughs> A black blob with a little white thing looking at me. 
<laughs> out of my peripheral vision. Ooh, look. Yeah, here. Take another one. <laughs> That's gross. Is your burrito in there? Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Too strong? Coffee. No, it's just coffee in general. <laughs> oh, okay. No, you're good. <laughs> I usually put cream in it, but. He doesn't. I'm not going to do, do that. Do the dairy and... when he's. She below. I'm just trying to get under the three day mark. I think I got it. No. I'll probably walk it in. For that. We'll be there. Go move. <sighs> I made it somehow. You did. Pretty damn good time too. Awesome. Get it. Yeah. Work. I nice. can't believe this. There you go. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh, yep, we're gonna go around. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I don't know how I pulled this off. Under 70 hours. There you go. Is that the goal? The goal was under 80. Oh, dang. <laughs> That's a really good yeah. job. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I rode the wave and it kept pushing me, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I can stop now. <laughs> Good job. I'm proud of you. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know what happened. You ran fast. Right here. <laughs> Good job, dude. Holy crap, those shorts are fantastic. <laughs> oh, did you see the others? <laughs> what was your favorite part of the course? Any like standout memories? Do you have Mount Margaret in the dark? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Elk Peak wasn't that bad. Oh, how pretty. Elk Peak wasn't bad. Uh, good yeah. job. Hello, Hello, Candace. Welcome back. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. This is your first Bigfoot, right? This is my first yeah. Bigfoot. I, I was saving it for last. Over here, you were like, do I really have to go around? No. <laughs> yeah. oh, I, I knew I had to go around. I was just trying to convince somebody to <laughs> not. Sleep out there? Maybe 50 minutes total. Ooh, yeah. A uh, maybe hour an hour. Half, probably. Okay. Well, some of it was. Yeah, you're just, just laying. laying. Yeah. A one 40 minute nap, a 15 minute nap, and a five minute nap on the road. You got just sub 70, 69, 23. Yeah. Nice. That was a goal, like. That's a great time. I don't know. Super nice. Halfway through the race and stuff. Maybe that could happen. Yeah. And for a while, I was in second. Whew! Yeah. That was scary. <laughs> it only lasted 15 minutes, but you. yeah. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> I mean, so he did good. sign up for this the This reminds race, me so. of going up to Quartz Ridge or whatever. <laughs> Just walking up. I'll see your winner. <laughs> <laughs> up, nice. up, and away. Up forever. You want to see it too? I do. <laughs> There's no downhill on this course. <laughs> Dude, I was actually got to like mile 100 and I'm like wow it's like really rolly and not, there's this, I thought it was just and it was but it was more gradual the first <laughs> half and then the second half it kicked my ass try to ease you into it you yeah. know? <laughs> false sense of security yeah. hey pose with your buckle homie. Doug needs to see it slap him in the face with the Mount St. Helens section <laughs> The people want to know. I have an awkward but face. Hey, Wade sent you a... All my coworkers follow along. So. He would have clapped for you, but it would hurt. So he's glad you did good. Yeah, uh, ruptured his bicep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard about that. Uh, Finish your mug and print are over there. You can grab... Sweet. The prints are in the cardboard there, so... Awesome. There you go. I'll drop it. Well, and then long. did they did they ask you about PT yet? Or, oh, they, okay. I talked to. Uh, They're on it. What was your name again? 
Patrick. <laughs> I love how blunt people are after 200 miles. I think we give them a lot of leeway. Too. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for the nice fun. Job. Yeah. I'll see yeah. you next year. I'll probably be volunteering, but I'll run it again. <laughs> we'll see you at Moab. No, I don't have any more vacation. <laughs> These are just fun. Yeah. It's not a word I always hear the finish line. Well, it's you know, mostly type two fun. Yeah. The fact that I made it. It's definitely like when you think back, like oh, there's some. That's what he said while I was pacing the whole time. This is so fun. That's all I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, he dragged me around and didn't let me eat. <laughs> uh, cool. Well, I better go shower or something. Yeah, I gotta go figure that out. Yeah, go warm up. And...